Why did you decide to pick up Rocksmith? Um, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to learn how to play guitar. It's like my mom made me learn how to play piano and that just wasn't as accessible as a guitar, you know, because everybody has a guitar and uh, sometimes you, uh, you just show up at a party and they have a guitar and you can just start strumming and start getting everybody to sing along. It's, it's a great instrument to know, so it's a lot better than, in my opinion, than piano. So. How easy was it to set up Rocksmith and start playing? Oh, it was as easy as it gets, man. It's like you, all you need is a guitar and an Xbox or a PS3 or a PC or whatever platform you're on. Stick in the disc, connect your guitar, and you're good to go. Did it take you long to learn Rocksmith's interface? It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it shows you all six of the strings on the guitar and um, just shows the notes coming down. And you just got to play the right note with the right string, and it's just like that. I mean, if you played any rhythm game or any video game, or even if you haven't, it's super easy to learn. Just takes getting used to, but to actually pick it up is super easy. For new guitar players, what's your advice for when they pick up Rocksmith? Tip number one, don't overdo it in the first couple days or the week because your fingers will get torn up. All right? The first two days I played like three hours each day and my fingers just got raw and I couldn't play for two days after that. And even the third day, my fingers were still kind of raw. So take it easy. Um, also give yourself more credit. It's, it's hard to pick up a new instrument and don't expect that, you know, in three or four days you're going to be able to play like a like Eric Clapton or something so um, yeah just you know take it easy practice stay committed um, and yeah if you stay committed you'll, you'll get it. How long did it take you to learn your first song? The first day it was like a super easy song um, I think it was Can't Get No Satisfaction by Rolling Stones and of course it was like a, it was a basic version of it but um, within the week I'd say uh, yeah I, I got that sound down at like the the maximum level you know which is how it was originally played and I mean, yeah, you, you can learn songs super easy. It's just, it's a matter of how advanced you want to become. Uh, what's your favorite track in Rocksmith? I, I have three. Uh, one is Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. It's just a great song, um, mainly because you can just bellow to the chorus of it. It's just, it's a known song, uh, even though I can't sing for my life. Uh, I sing in the privacy of my home. Uh, and the other one would be Cliffs of Dover by Eric Clapton. Um, I cannot play it yet. I'm like, 40% proficiency at it, but it's just an awesome song. It's just a feel-good song, super hard. And the third one is Smooth by Santana and Rob Thomas. That was like my jam back in the day. So it's just, I love rocking out to Santana and just going on that those riffs, so yeah. Do you think that you'll keep using Rocksmith as a practice tool? Most definitely, I, I still do. I mean, it's been a couple months since we since I did the 60 day challenge and I'm still practicing every day. Um, I don't use Rocksmith necessarily every day, but if I want to learn a new song and it's offered on the track list, it's definitely a good place to start. Also, uh, just with the techniques that, it, that uh, it suggests for each song is good to know. So if like one song is heavy on the hammer-ons or heavy on a certain chord, um, it'll tell you what it is and it'll guide you through certain practices. So that's always a good starting point. Um, and yeah, no, I definitely see myself uh, continuing to download new songs that come out on Rocksmith and continuing to practice. Was it easy to take what you learned from Rocksmith and play without the game on? Absolutely. I mean, it, Rocksmith, you know, it, it, it teaches you the basics and then it also gets into advanced techniques. So um, after I uh, played through Rocksmith and after the 60 day challenge, I bought an acoustic guitar and um, it was super easy to transfer from one to the other. The only thing with acoustic is a little bit harder to push on the strings and um, you have to strum a little harder because you don't have an amp. But uh, yeah, the, the skills transferred over super easy. Um, I honestly, what I did is I looked up Rocksmith uh, videos on YouTube and I just played along with like with the, view, with the YouTube video with my acoustic guitar. And then that's how I got into it. And then I started looking up notes. and uh, So yeah, it transfers super easily. I, I think the hardest part really is just the mechanics of it and getting used to playing the guitar. And then comes the chords and the music theory. So yeah, super easy to transfer.